The South Korean and U.S. militaries wasted no time in responding to one of North Korea's most serious provocations to date. On Wednesday, the Allies conducted a drill on the offensive use of ballistic missiles, demonstrating to the North their ability to make a direct strike on the regime's leadership. Our Defense Ministry correspondent Kim Yun bin reports. South Korea and the U.S. jointly staged a massive ballistic missile exercise Wednesday morning. It was aimed at sending a strong warning to Pyongyang that the Allies are ready and willing to destroy key facilities in the North with the push of a button. The large-scale drill comes less than 24 hours after North Korea test-fired an ICBM. South Korea fired a ballistic missile of a type called Hyomu-2, and the U.S. fired a tactical surface-to-surface -surface missile into South Korea's territorial waters in the East Sea. In a statement released Wednesday by the presidential office of Chongwade, the drills were conducted on the order of President Moon Jae-in, who stressed the need to demonstrate the Allies' position with action, not just words. U.S. President Donald Trump welcomed the move, with high praise for President Moon's reaction to the North's provocation. The South Korean military also made public footage of state-of-the-art missiles that could be used to take out the North's leadership. A Joint Chiefs of Staff on Wednesday released a one-minute video showing a fighter jet firing a Taurus long-range precision guided missile. The missile has a range of 500 kilometers, so it can target Pyongyang from the border. And it's specially designed to strike bunkers and key facilities. South Korea reportedly purchased 170 of the missiles from Germany, and 80 have been deployed so far. JCS also revealed video clips of other precision-guided missiles and the recent flight of a U.S. B-1B strategic bomber over the peninsula, putting Pyongyang on notice that Seoul and Washington are ready to respond at all times. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.